Hi, and welcome to Design It with Tammy Gibbs. I'm Tammy, and today I wanted to address some issues that some folks are having with Artistly 5 and the new, let me just click through here, the new bulk actions. So um, it, it actually tells you that due to high demand for this feature, it could take up to 24 hours to finish your project, but a lot faster the majority of the time. Okay, so let's just look at some logical things here. So it's they're already telling you that because of the popularity of the um, bulk actions, because of what the bulk actions do, that it could take longer. Now, I have not tried it with a whole lot of images, but I'm going to try it with 10 images, and we're just going to see how long it's going to take it to process. Now, just because it takes it for me that length of time doesn't mean it's going to take it for you, and I want to let you in on a little bit of insight that I have figured out just testing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new action and we're going to go to my library and I am just going to go into one of my folders and I'm going to choose some images. So let's just, um, let's choose this one. No, let's not choose that one. Let's, let's go into a different file. Let's see. Let's go into this one. Okay, so we'll go into this one, and we'll do this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so, well, it says I've done, a, 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 I've done, Okay, I've got 11, so we're just going to do the 11. Okay, so now that we've selected them, and you can also browse from your computer and select images that way as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start creating the actions. We're going to click the plus, and I know I've done this in some other videos, but this is to specifically address where it's come from that point, the earlier version and everything. So I'm going to remove the backgrounds. Now some of these I'm not in, you know, they may not do remove the background really good. Um, I think I've discussed before that um, I wasn't sure that it was right where I needed it to be to use it for that. But the upscale images, and we're going to click only upscale here because we're not doing a person and or a photograph and then we're going to do convert to uh, 300 dpi okay so what we want to do now is build our action we're going to choose and i'm just going to do test we're going to build it and then it's going to pop up to our personal designs okay our feed so right here is all of our images that we're watching okay so it's going to be processing them so really quickly as you see it's popped up this one, but if you mash the eyeball, even though it's showing you the image here, it's not finished. It's still upscaling. It's removed the background, but if you see right here, it's working on the upscaling this image now. So it's going through the steps. So just because it pops up, I think what a lot of people are doing is they're downloading. Once that image pops up, you think it's finished and it's not finished yet. It's still processing. See right here, status, processing. And if you look over here, you'll see that now it just got finished upscaling that image and now it's converting it into 300 dpi. And it's working on this image here. Now, I'm going to click out of it and then we're just going to, this one hasn't even popped up, but let's just go here. See, this one is still processing. It hasn't even popped the picture up yet. Now, if I go up here and I refresh the page, I'm going to see all these images pop up. Okay. So here are the images. You know, this is showing. This did not do a great job. It didn't remove everything. I really just, I, I wouldn't have probably even tried to do those particular images. It was just for a test. So it actually looks like it may have done a pretty good job on these other images. Okay. So here's our original one. And now it says that this is private. 
it has turned green. That means that all of the tasks we told it to do, bulk action progress, all of those are green now, which means that when we go in and we now can download this one, when we actually go into that file, and we see it here, what I did was I just opened the file and it opened it up into my default for uh, Windows 11 is what I have, and this is my default photo thing. This is going to show you right here that it's 4096 by 4096 and it's 7.1 megabyte. I'm going to go to file info here. I, I right clicked and it's going to show me that now this image is 4096 by 4096. It's 300 dpi at 32 bits. So it has done what it meant to do. It has removed the background, it has upscaled the image, and it has converted it to 300 dpi at 32 bits. So now let's look at this one. Okay, this one also says that it is complete, and you can see here where it says this bulk action progress that that image is complete. So when we do the same thing and we download it, it should be the same thing. We can open it and we can go to file info and here we go. It is 4096 by 6.8 megabytes, 300 dpi and 32 bits. I believe where most people are, are um, sort of running into issues is that just as soon as that image pops up, you're downloading it and you're downloading it in a previous form before it has done all that it's supposed to be doing, before it's turned it into the 300 dpi, probably when it pops up, it's usually already maybe removed the background, but it hasn't done the other. So let's go here. All of these now are showing that they're private. Let's go here and private. All of the things are done. So that really did not take a super long time. And this one ended up doing even though I, that was that one that I thought I had removed. But anyway, so I believe that, like I said, the problem is that when you're downloading these images, you're downloading them before the bulk actions have finished. And I believe that is where you're running into your issues with the bulk actions not giving it enough time to actually finish processing and it is very misleading because we're used to when it pops up us being able to download it we're um you know we're just used to that because it's generated at that point because it won't show it to us until it's fully generated it works differently with the bulk actions so we need to keep that in mind when we're actually you know working with the bulk actions that it's going to take a few more minutes that we're going to have to test them, open it up, look to see the status, look to see if all these bulk actions that we assigned to it have turned green and, and have the check marks showing that they have been done. So let's, um, let's do something else. Let's go in and let's go into my designs and let's do it again. This time I'm going to... Oops, that's not what I meant to do at all. We're going to take these sticker bunnies, and I've got a whole, I don't even know how many are in here, but we're going to try to use those. So we're going to go over to the bulk actions, um, browse, no, no, we're not going to browse. <laughs> we're going to go to the library. We're going to go over to the bunnies, um, sticker bunnies. Okay, we're going to select all of these and then we're going to see how long it takes us to process this pack of stickers. Now this one I'm going to leave out because it's not really a stick. It wasn't done as a sticker. So, okay, so we're going to select 18. So we have 18 images and just so you can kind of see how long it may take, and I hope it doesn't take 24 hours. So far, I haven't run into that. But anyway, we're going to add a step. We're going to remove the backgrounds. We're going to add the upscale image. 
only upscale. And then we're going to add the convert to 300 DPI because those are the those are the actions that we need it to do for us to create a sticker pack or whatever. So we're going to say sticker bunnies or let's just do sticker pack. Okay, so we're going to build that. And then again, as you see, it's going to say processing. And we've got all of our images here, 18 of them, which is, you know, a nice size little clip art pack. So this for anybody that's doing clip art or doing art for their invitations and doing uh, processing a clip art pack to be used with their invitations or other digital products. Um, that's a good size um, pack. It's a realistic amount that probably would pop. Okay, so I refreshed, and so we do have these images that have come up now. They're all up, so you would think, okay, well, these are ready for me to download, but are they really? Go to the eyeball, and you will see that they are not ready for us to download yet. They are still processing, and the only thing that they have done so far is remove the background. So let's go into the other images, and let's see what step they're on. Okay, so now this one has been upscaled. Has this one been upscaled? Yes, they've been, they're on the upscale. St so they're being done and being done fairly quickly. Now we're on the convert to 300 DPI. And it looks like they're, it's okay. And that one is finished. So are all of them finished? Let's look and see. Nope, this one's still processing. That one's converted. So even if one of them is ready, you're still going to need to, to ch test because look right here. It says it's got this convert to DPI here, but it says it's still processing. So until this turns green and says private, it's not finished yet. So you have to look at both areas. You have to look at what it's doing. And some of them may be farther along than others, but until this turns green, then they're not ready. So we're going to refresh it. And then we're going to go back in. Still says that it's processing, so it's still not ready. Okay. Now this one says that it's private, so this one is ready. So we can download this one to see if it did what it was supposed to do because it is processed. We're going to open the file and we see that we've got our cutout. It, it, it removed the background very nicely for that sticker. Now we're going to right click, file info, and we see that it turned it into a 49 by 9, 4096 by 4096, 300 DPI, 32 bit. So now let's test and see what these are doing, how they're looking. Okay, this one now says that it is also processed, so we can download it, and we can open it. It did really good with the stickers. Um, now you could take and put those stickers on your sheets um, so that they will be cut out uh, with like a Cricut or whatever. We're going to look at the file info again. And we see that it has also, it has upscaled it. It has turned it to 300 DPI, 32 bit. So, and it removed the background. So it did all of that actually in just a few minutes. So it really is doing very well with um, making, um, doing the background removal has come a long way. It's not perfect, but then I'm going to be honest with you, Pix, uh, Pixel Cut that I use, um, Canva Pro that I use, some images are just harder. And if you run across an image that you cannot get a clear and crisp background removal, my suggestion is not to bog down on that image, but to just put it aside and use it for a project that you don't need a transparent background. Then make you another image to go into your um, into your pack with because it's just too easy to go in and create more instead of getting bogged down for 30 minutes to an hour trying to uh, remove tiny, minute little details that in the scheme of things are not worth 
the time effort. So you can still use that pretty image that you wanted to in a different product and just use it in something that doesn't need transparency. So um, anyway, so here is basically we have 18 images for stickers and we did them very quickly using the uh, bulk um, feature, the bulk actions. And uh, so now hopefully you understand a little bit better the little nuances or little um, oddities that come along with using that feature so that you don't become frustrated when you um, think that it has not worked the way it's supposed to. Make sure that it is working based on the way that the program works. Go in and test it. Give it a few minutes. It's going to take a few minutes for it to process. And then when you see private and you see all of this in green, you're going to know that it is okay to download that image, that it has already gone through all of those bulk actions that you have assigned it to do, and that the image should be the way that you want it to be now. So I hope that this helps you and helps work along your workflow in Artistly 5. Um, be sure and check out all of my playbooks if you're learning to prompt and you want some uh, really good uh, textbook type uh, information, word banks, phrase banks. Um, they're best selling. It is a best selling series now on Etsy. Um, I can now sell to you if you are in the EU. You can do that through Gumroad. There's going to be links for all of my stuff down in the description. Um, I appreciate all the support that all of you give me by watching the videos, by using my Artistly link when you decide to finally purchase. Um, if for some reason you're watching and you want to use my affiliate link, but you're concerned that you saw a discount code somewhere. Um, I'm not aware of any right now, but I don't know when you're going to be watching. So if you have access to a discount code, uh, the norm has been that that works. So um, give it a try. You probably can use that code with my affiliate link and still get the discount and I, it still helps me out. And then also I wanted to mention that I do have a private Facebook group um, that you're welcome to join. It is a great way for me to communicate with you, see what you're up to, what kind of designs you're, you're uh, creating and answer questions that can benefit the whole group in um, a little better way. I love comments on YouTube, but sometimes it's harder to answer at very, you know, in detail, you know, to help you out. So my Facebook group is just a great resource and an extension of the channel. So you're welcome to join it. There's no cost. And the link is also down in the description. I also wanted to mention that I, now I put out a Creative Dispatch, which is um, my newsletter weekly. It's going to have ideas on marketing your products that you create, on creating those products using AI, using Canva, using different platforms to get different results. Anything that has to do with digital um, product creation and selling. So I have a link to that down in the uh, description as well. So be sure and sign up for that. And um, thanks for watching and until next time, happy creating.